It looks like it's finished pouring through. I don't see any drips coming down here. Just want to like, move it a couple times. Make sure now you can see, uh, looks pretty good. Looks like uh, the coffee still has got some puffiness to it, which I like. Okay, and so now the next step uh, is to record the mass of the entire assembly, coffee cup, clever dripper, filter, ground coffee, brewed coffee, and the base to the clever dripper. So I'm gonna carefully move this over. And then I'm gonna put this on top, sorry, this, this piece, uh, so that we have the mass of the whole assembly. And, oh, it's off. <laughs> so I can move it back now and turn it on and carefully move it over. And I get, let me find go, 1048.6. Record the mass of just the coffee cup and the brewed coffee. And now I'll put this down. And I get 708.5. Yep, that's right. Uh, record the mass of just the clever dripper, coffee grounds, filter paper, and the base. We're going to make sure we get everything as mass here. I get 340 point clever dripper, coffee grounds, filter paper, uh, and base. 340.0 grams. And uh, now that's finished with the first process. Oh, uh, taste the coffee, record how it tastes. I'm gonna record how it uh, smells too. It smells good, not super fragrant. Hmm, that's got some body, that's good. Uh, so just tasting notes, so not too strong a taste. I sort of strong, strong a smell. I'm trying to see if I can. Uh, it's good. <laughs> um, I don't know. So it's actually a really good cup of coffee. I don't have a lot of other tasting notes. In my palate uh, today, at least. Hmm, let's try it one more time. I do taste some fruit acidity. I do taste some sweetness. And good body. Tastes like a good cup of coffee. Now, you're going to repeat this process starting at step three three more times, except you're going to do one thing differently. And uh, that is, so you're going to look at the mass of your water, which is going to be the mass of the Clever Dripper, dry filter paper, ground coffee, and the water, minus before you put the water in. And I got... Uh, 304.1 grams so what you're gonna do to ensure that you have the same amount is you're going to pour the um, hot water into your 500 milliliter plastic beaker I have tested it it does work I was doing that just to make sure so it does hold it in here so use the scale, coffee, use the scale to, with this empty, pour in 304.1, well let's say this, as close as possible uh, to the exact amount of water that you need, and then you'll be able to just pour it into your Clever Dripper and do it, you know, relatively quickly, but relatively safely. So uh, uh, you can notice that if you're holding the uh, plastic beaker here, 
it will not, uh, it is not hot. If you hold it down at the bottom, it is very hot. So if you're going, you can hold it at the top if that's okay. You can also get your uh, hot pads, and actually I might suggest that, get your hot pads and hold it at the bottom so you can do a more steady pour to make sure that you get the exact same volume and the same mass, since we're measuring it in mass today. And then you have three more Clever Drippers to make. And what I might do is uh, I might have, I'm gonna save this so uh, into another coffee cup, clean it, dry it, and then that way I can taste all four of them together at the end uh, once I've got them all in one place and see how they compare.